All right, it's been two months since the last vlog, and um, I've been neglectful. Partly because there has been a lot going on, been busy, but also partly because some of it has been tough. And I recorded this all over a month ago on July 2nd. Almost posted it, but I just didn't want it to be a downer. But I wanted to be true to the spirit of this vlog and why I started it to begin with, which is to document the journey, the highs and the lows, the failures and the wins in real time. And uh, last month there was, you know, it, it was a drag. So here's, here's a couple clips from that post, which I never posted. Been kind of a tough week for South. Um, man, it's just hard to stay encouraged. I should be really encouraged because the screenplay is getting better and better and we're getting reads from some pretty amazing actors who are really enjoying it and considering it. But it's still hard when you get the rejections. Another actor who was attached, it's been attached for months, had to back out just yesterday because of scheduling. I'm just still learning how to emotionally kind of accept the rejection, you know. And uh, I, I don't even really want to post a video like this because it just kind of sounds like whining or complaining. But the whole point of this series is for me to kind of process in real time the highs and the lows. i got to raise a lot of money, and I don't know that I can you know but maybe that's part of the process it's like yeah the highs and lows we get depressed when things go wrong and we get excited when they go well it's just you got to endure it you got to stick it out so part of this video is me encouraging myself just stick it out just press on the right cast will come the financing will come it's tough man it's tough it's tough making movies any movie is a minor miracle you know like you need wins to kind of offset the losses. And I just maybe I just because I feel like I've gotten three or four losses back to back in the past few days. So it's just need a win. Just need a win to get me back in it. We press on though. We press on. I'm grateful for the people in my life, the, the colleagues who I have, who I can process this stuff with. That's been helpful. And uh, trying to also, you know, be that for other people. And keep the keep people inspired amidst the struggle. Here's to uh, here's to pressing on. Um, but things are a little better right now, a lot better. We are full steam ahead for South, which I have renamed all the names we buried. That is the new name of the film. We've got a couple awesome producers alongside myself. As I mentioned in the unposted vlog from last month, we lost our actor who was attached for one of the roles. Um, and that's why I never really sort of publicly announced him because it was sort of a contingent attachment. So we're actively recasting and I'm really hopeful to have casting in the next few weeks because you kind of have to barrel towards your target and our target is October, four weeks of October making this film. And now that my freelance work is sort of behind me, I uh, had an awesome freelance job, which I wrapped up a few weeks ago. I'm now full-time just prepping this film, completing the fundraising. I've got a bunch of meetings this week with potential investors. Um, that really it takes a full-time effort just to chip away at this budget. We've got money in the bank. We've got money committed. We've got more investors interested. So obviously that momentum builds upon itself and you kind of have to juggle, gamble a little bit with your shoot date and with just the determination of completing casting, completing budget raising. So I'm doing that. I'm sort of diving into that really for the next two months full time until we shoot in October. There's opportunities for people to be involved. If you want to be involved, I've got, you know, certain crew positions that we'll be paying for, obviously. There's some room for volunteers. There's not really room to house volunteers. So, fair warning, there'll be limited spots for people's involvement. Um, so, if you are interested in being involved, you know, reach out. It continues to be hard. It continues to be a struggle just to manage the emotional swings that sort of comes with this life of the full-time freelance grime while also full-time trying to make a feature film. It is hard. I've been grateful to have steady freelance work this year, which has relieved a financial burden, but it's still, it's still hard because of, you know, things I've talked about in the past. The, the, the sacrifices I've made to get where I am have been 
a lot of different kinds of sacrifices. There have been financial sacrifices. So it's still a grind. I've been grateful that most of that freelance work has been fun and with people I love. But, you know, there's still sometimes when it's tough, it is hard and I'm miserable. I mean, there was a couple days recently where I'm just like, ah, oh, this is hard. I'm miserable. Why am I feeling like this? Why can't I just have some balance, some equilibrium? And uh, I look forward to the balance that will come. But part of this journey is also to figure out how can we can create emotional balance, whatever the chaos is that surrounds us. So I'm learning that. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with that. I'm having victory with that. You know, it's all a work in progress. I am excited that there is momentum on the film, that it feels like it's real, it's happening. Locations are aligning. Crew is aligning. Cast is aligning. Finances are aligning. So I will try to chart, continue to chart the journey on this process. If there's any specific questions anyone has about this project, this journey, the filmmaking process, specifically for the film, All the Names We Buried, happy to answer that, happy to try to explore that more and uh, continue sort of um, documenting the process. All right, more soon. Happy August.